beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. I want to talk very briefly on victory over the spirit of fear. Victory over the spirit of fear. Fear is a phenomenon that as human beings we have been, psychologically speaking, we have been taught to be used to it. We have given it a lot of intelligent explanations. We have incorporated it as part of our lives. Are we together? Different teachings have come, uh, especially in the area of dealing with fear. Medical people will tell you that fear has a great impact on the health and the well-being of an individual. That an individual can literally die as a result of fear not gunshot not um, some act of terrorism and whatever it is fear and when you want to walk by faith please listen i'm just not saying faith just to receive a miracle the bible says the just shall live by faith say it after me the just, the just shall, live shall live by faith that means your exploits and my exploits in the kingdom will be predicated upon my ability to not only engage faith momentarily to receive a result, but that it becomes my lifestyle. Are we together? To walk in faith means to walk in understanding. To walk in faith means to walk in obedience. To walk in faith means to walk in courage. All of the aspects that together cause a man to produce results. The end of faith is a performance. There may be a period between prophecy, you're engaging the principles and the manifestation. But there should be a performance. Hallelujah. And I have noticed that one of the obstacles, we don't deal with it because we don't care, that destroy a lot of people is the spirit of fear. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. Paul is teaching his son Timothy in the gospel. And this is what he says. For God had not given us. Stop there. For God had not given us. The Bible is very open about the things God gave us. I just read for you the things that he received for us. When the Bible says God did not give you something. And it is at work in your life. It means that another personality or agency has communicated that is that true the bible says it didn't say for we don't have it said for god has not given us meaning it is not in the character of god to give men an attribute that will frustrate their faith it is not in the character of god to plant fear in men reverence is not fear reverence is respect the spirit of reverence that the bible calls the fear of the lord 
But this fear is timidity, intimidation. The psychological burden that comes as a result of many factors that I'm going to be explaining to you. The Bible says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear. So the first revelation here is that fear is a spirit. It's not just a psychological thing. Uh -uh. There is a spirit called the spirit of fear. What do you think the assignment of that spirit is? To manifest its characteristic in whoever finds himself as the victim. Is that true? When the spirit of poverty is in an individual, it will leave out its characteristic. When the spirit of infirmity is in an individual, it will leave out its characteristic. So when the spirit of fear is in an individual, the same way when the spirit of power, of might, is upon an individual, you will see the manifestation. And the Bible says, God has not given us this spirit. So there is a certain spirit that roams around the earth called the spirit of fear. Are we together? But there are also three kinds of spirits too. He says he has not given us. So he's dealing with giving spirits here. Are we together now? He's just telling you which spirit he has not given you. That I have not given you the spirit of fear. And then he says, but the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and the spirit of a sound mind. The whole scripture there is talking about spirits that can be given to men. So when you see a man exhibiting power, there is a spirit behind it. When you see love, there is a spirit behind it. And when you see a sound mind, much more than access to information, there is a spirit that ensures that your mind attains a level of renewal sufficient to cause the word of God to work in your life. There is such a spirit. The spirit of a sound mind is what the Bible calls the spirit of understanding. Are we together? The Bible says it shall make you of quick understanding, Isaiah 11. Why do people fear? There is only one reason you will be surprised. Why Satan is so interested in giving us fear. First and foremost, let me just back up a little and say this. I wrote this down and I want us to... Is, I, I wrote here that fear is given. And like any other gift, it can be received or rejected. Is that true? The Bible says, as many as received him. That means not everybody will receive him. But to those who receive him, there is an effect. He gave them power to become. So every time you receive a thing, together with that reception is power to become. God has not given us. That means if another personality, Satan being the chiefest of them, gives us the spirit of fear, we have a right to reject it. Our society is full of men and women who live perpetually in fear. Many of us seated looking at me now, inside, outside, those following online, we live in fear. Fear has stopped people from sleeping fear has stopped people from going to the hospital to find out what is wrong with them listen carefully fear has stopped people from taking giant strides to get out of poverty fear has stopped people from doing things that have never been done it's a spirit and this spirit like every other demonic spirit has an assignment are we together now yes just like faith is a spirit it says we then having the same spirit of faith there is a character to faith when that spirit is upon you the spirit of faith has an assignment it empowers you to believe god to engage the relevant forces as commanded by god and compels god's integrity to speak on your behalf is that true so also the spirit of fear it can be received it can be rejected we fear so many things in our society. We fear success. Interestingly, we fear failure. We fear um, traveling from one place to the other. We fear bad news. We fear all kinds of things. There is a spirit. All of a sudden, you feel a little pain on your legs. 
and here comes the spirit of fear listen now let me show you how this spirit works the spirit of fear will come and say ah, your legs remember the documentary you saw where someone's legs started rotting you see how the spirit of fear takes advantage of your imagination are we together now like the ladies who were sharing their testimony here the spirit of fear some of you are here seated right now probably overflow maybe one two three or online and the devil is planting fear you are too far the anointing will not touch you and you say ah that's true you are seated here now wondering will i receive this is the last miracle service what if god does not visit me manifestations of the spirit of fear there are people who will never make progress in their lives because of fear there are people who will not travel because of fear why does satan use fear i want to tell you now satan first and foremost gives fear to gain access to your imagination and expectation listen carefully the primary purpose of fear is satan's way of finding a system where he can reach your imagination and to alter your expectation hmm. fear is creative in its operation there's nobody who is afraid without engaging the power of creativity fear will always give you pictures fear will act dramas in your mind if you don't have a mind fear will be powerless in your life the purpose of fear is that it starts from the realm of the spirit but then it it seeks to find expression in your mind to uh, to get to your faculties of creativity and to begin to alter your imaginations listen carefully and to alter your expectations because satan knows that it is a law that the thing you hold in your mind truly will come to pass are you seeing the purpose of fear now so when you sit down and you want to enter a room and all of a sudden you are thinking what if i enter and somebody closes my eyes notice how powerful your image even if you are not not to insult you but even if you don't feel you are that smart all of a sudden you are an excellent movie maker you are imagining a hand touching your eyes and it's so real and you just say let me leave you see you acted satan acted a drama and stopped you correct yes this is how the devil has manipulated the destinies of people he may not come directly but he uses fear fear is a powerful spirit let me tell you this every other spirit is helpless until fear prevails i want you to believe this every other spirit joins a queue waiting and hoping most people will not admit that it is fear that is motivating their activities but it is it is yes it is when a student does malpractice what is responsible fear something in that student tells the student look if you go the way you are going for sure you are going to be in hot water and so he begins to fabricate strategies to manage the fear hmm. why do you hear a sound bam in your zinc and all of a sudden you are moving and you know sometimes we pray all kinds of prayers that we really think are are faith you know are faith filled prayers but they are simply spiritual ways of saying i am afraid like blood of jesus like holy ghost fire there is holy ghost fire that is real holy ghost fire there is holy ghost fire that what you are saying in the realm of the spirit is lord i'm confused what is really going on here that you mention holy ghost does not mean that is are you saying that now fear <clears throat> I know this very well because I lived in it. Mm. Yes, I lived in it. Fear is dangerous. It short circuits your potential. There are people who would do greater than they are doing now if only they had the grace and the understanding to overcome fear. How does fear work? Let me show you something. Job chapter 3 verse 25. This was Job's own testimony. 3 verse 25. Then I'll quickly teach you how fear works. Is God helping us? So we've established that fear is a spirit. Job chapter 3 and verse 25. We've established the fact that fear is a spirit.
someone help our children? They're really enjoying themselves around. And, uh... Hallelujah. Job chapter 3 and verse 25. Read with me. One to read. For the thing which I greatly feared. Stop. For what? There was an object. Otherwise, fear was not there. The thing which I greatly feared did what? Uh huh. And that which I was afraid of. So, Paul, I mean, um, Job gives fear a magnetic property that when you begin to fear, it has an effect. It can attract to your life the very thing you are afraid of. We fear failure. That's why we fail. Fear is expectation. It takes advantage of your imagination. You will think you are rejecting it. But you think upon it, it controls your life. What if they now say, I have cancer? This one that I watched, I watched a movie that says eating cabbage is wrong. How many of these things have I eaten? I've gone to the farm eating one whole cabbage by myself. Maybe I have cancer. And then you just think. And all of a sudden, pain manifests from nowhere. Pain that should not be there. And you just touch and, ah, what is this boil about? And they will say, are you joking? You better go and read it up. You go to Google. Symptoms of cancer enter. And you find out many other people like you around the world that fear is prevailing over. And they say it can start. Sometimes it can look like a boy. And they will say, that's it. Let me tell you. Listen, listen, listen. While you laugh, pay attention. You will be surprised. A spirit will enter that boil. And turn something that you would have squeezed with your hand to a real cancer. That thing had no power to become cancerous. Your partnership with fear active. It added a spirit to that thing. Remember James taught us chapter 2, 26. That a body without a spirit is dead that thing was just a body but a spirit entered it and the growth became unusual and all of a sudden i will tell you oh, this is it and you say you see i knew it yeah i've been telling you you are right you have been saying it because whatever you say think upon is what will become your reality the spirit of fear see when you understand what fear is you begin to understand the keys of the kingdom like praise and the things that they do to you is much more than dancing. Satan attempts to give us fear by causing us to walk in the realm of the flesh, the senses. Satan's domain of operation is the flesh, senses. Now the senses are not wrong. They are the physical faculties God has given to find expression. But Satan will take advantage. The Bible says to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. To be carnally minded. To be ruled by your senses. When things work physically, you are happy. When things don't work well, you are angry. Correct? When there is money in your pocket, you are joyful. You are carnal. The Bible says you are walking in the flesh. You are governed by your sensory perceptions. And not by the word of God. Our society is full of people. You can almost know when someone has not collected a salary. One day past salary time. Everything about that. Now I'm not, I'm not saying that people should not receive salaries. But you can always know. Even if the person has one million in his account. He has been taught to respond to the senses. So you will know what is wrong. What do you mean what is wrong? What is today's date? And you, you see all of that. Are we together? Hmm. We have been taught. We have carried our hearts and put them on our faces. People can almost predict. With no kind of psychological aid. You are not feeling happy. What's wrong? Say, what do you mean what's wrong? Yeah, the restaurant is closed. You know, what is wrong? This and that has happened. And we justify these things to mean that we have a right to express ourselves we do not know that we walk in the flesh at our detriment satan is the master of the flesh realm when you dwell in the realm of the senses where he can manipulate you using sensory perceptions he will win over you a thousand times 
Are we together? The realm of true victory for a spiritual man is being spiritual. So every time people see, that's why the Bible says rejoice in the Lord. How many times? And again I repeat, rejoice. Rejoice. So you see someone happy all the time and you're wondering, ah, ah. Now, wow, this 2017 is really wonderful for you. And then the person tells you a story that you'll be surprised. Do you know that this year they stole my car, they stole my house, they stole my land? And you say, this is like your happiest year. Say, I found a revelation that if I reduce myself to the realm of the senses, I authorize darkness to prevail over me. Am I not human? Should I not cry? What is all this nonsense? Joshua, sell my mind yourself. You see, is this kind of societal talk. We think it's a very nice talk. It attracts empathy. We, together with that empathy, fear joins them and comes to wreck your life. Say, I refuse to walk by my senses. Say it again. I refuse to walk by my senses. I walk by the word of God. See, you don't, you don't respond just when physical things change. You respond based on the word of God. This is what makes a man spiritual. It's not just praying in tongues and lifting wheelchairs. It's the ability to have worked with the Holy Spirit to so discipline your faculties of expression that the effect of the physical realm on your spiritual life is, almost, is minimal. Are we together? Yes. When Satan would want Jesus to talk, he would keep quiet. Legitimate reason to talk, and he would keep quiet. On the cross, you think he would be angry. And there he looks and says, look, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. That's a spiritual man. Fear thrives upon our carnality, our ability to consistently dwell in the realm of the flesh. We become victims of the physical environment. And I told you this, there are too many things, brothers and sisters, in within one hour in the world we live in today, there are too many things that will manipulate you to a point where you no longer trust God. Are we together? Just put on the news, whether it's the internet, radio, whatever, and you are hearing a sad story. Are we together? Call your loved ones and they tell you, hey, it has happened. Say, what has happened? Just, they just caught the call. Say, so call me back first. And you're wondering, what, what is happening now? Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters. Responding carnally empowers Satan. I'm, I'm teaching you this. You must get this. Responding to life sensually gives Satan an edge over your life. I will sing... I will praise even in my darkest hour through the sorrow and the pain I will see and I will praise I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true I will see that's, that's a spiritual man. That's a spiritual man. Don't make fear make you an object of pity. Everybody looks at you and says, ah, ah. Oh, you are the orphan they talk about. You say, yes, yeah, so my father is late. My mother is late. I sympathize with you. But brothers and sisters, there is a way to victory in life. The Bible says, listen, it says, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even your faith. Brothers and sisters, there is a way we can exempt ourselves in life. But the starting point is to conquer fear. It's to conquer fear. Men of God will make you afraid. They will attempt to impart their limitations upon you and make it look as if that's how God operates. I reject fear in my life. I reject fear in my life. I have no business with fear. The spirit of faith is at work in me. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. 
Victory belongs to Him. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. One more time. Job, Job was a man who there is no human being who will go through what Job went through and not be afraid. In one day, everything, your estate disappears. In one day, seven of your children disappear. In one day, your fortune, everything. And Job sat down. As if that were not enough, boils began to grow. Dogs would come and lick Job. Job was an object of pity. And while he sat down there, the wife looked at him one day and said, Job, is there hope for you? I'm your wife. I said I do, but now I'm Job. I still do, but you, there's, there's nothing. You are, it's, it's over. And Job looked and said, though he slay me, though he slay me, Shapara Kotaya, I searched for an explanation, but since I did not find, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I imagine when Job had double, I wonder what his mocker said. Because I believe they were still alive. Hmm. Let me tell you something. I tell you, before December ends, some of you, some people will see you and bend their head. Because the, the stories they have said, listen, the things that they have said around you, listen, hold on, and they were right except god intervenes what they have said is so predictable ah but the god who can turn around turn things listen in my little life i don't boast to know god too well but i've seen the bible say oh taste and see brothers and sisters in my little life i have seen this god who can arise right god God, my brother, when God arises for even you, the recipient will sit down and say, what is this? The Bible says, when the Lord again turn our captivity. I have seen families that this year, January, they were beggars. But today, give them one million who have insulted them. January this year, I've seen it. I'm not talking of job. This is what God can do. I've seen people who based on their medical report they should not even reach June they may not share it with others by the privilege of the ministry God has given me I get to talk to people they don't hide anything from me there are times I've seen medical reports that have challenged me myself and I said my God and they come with confidence and say sir I know listen if you don't conquer fear as a man of God you won't go far because I told you God talks to men like he's talking to himself he will never tell you what you can do he will tell you what he can do is God speaking to someone tonight fear is a spirit yes I know there are nine of you in your family you have watched everybody become a failure as soon as you graduate the devil turns your certificate like tissue paper and then god has been showing you in the dreams like joseph that you will be the savior and you say oh god just let my marriage just work that's all i'm asking and god is saying no don't be like gideon don't be like gideon when he appeared to gideon gideon said no 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 don't talk about me i'm the least in my family coming from the least tribe and god says that's why i'm here the spirit of fear has destroyed businesses the spirit of, let me tell you how the spirit of fear works he uses something that is real in your life as the basis for stopping you to rise high are we together so god says come darling god says i'm going to make you a great lady and then satan reminds you where was god when you were failing yesterday 
you see how fear works and you see, first you say no 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 Abba, god is faithful but later when you sit down you say truly god where were you all because i remember fasting 21 days it was after the 21 days fasting that i failed god where were you that now that i'm not even fasting you are the interesting thing about god eh? let me tell you after a challenging season in your life when god comes he doesn't discuss it he just continues from where he stopped hi this god god told you you'll be in ministry for five years you have only two members when god comes he says all right bring the notebook i spoke to you about three years let's continue i say god i want to let you know that two of my members are leaving you will never hear him answer you he just says let's continue because you see in god's world whether past present delay they mean nonsense to him a thousand years is one day so if he says i am blessing you today even if it's five years it still is today the day his word comes it will make up for it satan uses something obvious obvious remember the other time you claimed that you you don't have any sickness now you went to the hospital were you blind when the doctors were telling now i'm not against doctors i love them so much were you blind when the doctors told you that you don't have a womb and you are trying to trust god in the name of jesus and all of a sudden they bring out the medical report and you see something that was written there that while you were growing up developing as a lady something happened and altered your womb and there is no possibility for you to even take in and satan says i rest my case let me tell you what a man of faith will do i know god who is mighty mighty the raw material for creating his re any reality is his word he says through faith we understand we understand that the walls were framed the physical structure was framed by the word of god listen don't think i don't know what i'm saying brothers and sisters we must conquer the spirit of fear if this is all that happens to you tonight even if we round up now it has been a successful service you will go back and wonder i want you to, to just sit down please sit down and think in one minute what fear has done in your life there are many of us god told you this is your destiny helper go and meet him you were almost there have you seen people like that they knocked the office as soon as the man opened god said speak how many brothers i would have entered a very godly relationship but fear stopped them you are almost there and the lady comes and you just pass. Say, no i was picking something on the ground and you go back and say ah oh god after fasting and praying fear how many businesses should have started and risen but fear keeps them down so many people who would have risen but fear satan manifests fear through different things including men of god including our loved ones they say look uh, my dear i know you are a lady thank god for your ambition i know that that young man has been indoctrinating you people but let me tell you this is how life works eh? go on, better go and greet that man when you greet him you know a and b and c and d and then they confuse you and look how many graduates finish from powerful places like zaria and other places one year after they get out of this place when you see them all the dreams some of you are ashamed to open the notebooks that you had four five years ago because you don't believe anything you wrote here again gone are the days where you would write anything some of you now your prayer request you have 10 prayer requests but the one on your card is only two because say god let me not disgrace myself again if you do this two for me i'm grateful please pick up your card and write more lord my hair is falling it must stop ah is that god's business god is too busy who told you write it are we together the spirit of fear the spirit of fear life can intimidate us in such a way you you need to see how people laugh at spiritual people when you step out of the church cycle you know last week i was i was i was somewhere and then um i was having a discussion with with a, a gentleman 
and the sarcasm that he had for spiritual things it was like all these church people and he will mimic pastors and laugh and i felt irritated i was just waiting to finish with him is somebody that i came to just to honor and i said let me get out of this place this guy has a, a this all these politicians very lousy sarcasm for you're a politician here i love you but i mean very funny funny attitude towards pastors they make it look like we are joking and some of you that's exactly how you are after you finish jumping here when you step out you now become ashamed of everything you did that's why bloggers write all kinds of things and say men of god turn people to children how can you just be talking like a parrot and a man of god says pray and you are praying and talking like a parrot and we live and fear the fear to sustain your convictions your phone rings in a restaurant Jesus is Lord and you quickly off it because you don't want to raise any dust here and they say you pastor is you Abby and then they start telling you stories about pastors stories about all kinds of people oh you are the sister I was saying you will not marry continue all this sister thing you are doing and when they say it you just sit down feeling guilty for loving and following God shout no way go and read your Bible and see the destiny of those who mocked God. From Pharaoh to Nebuchadnezzar to Herod to Jezebel. All of their destinies were a straight line. Predictable. Mark the wicked, the Bible says. Are we together? God has not given us the spirit of fear. Romans chapter 4 from verse 18 to 21. What is the cure for fear? Let's examine the father of faith, Abraham, Romans chapter 4, from verse 18 to 21. Please give it to us, media. The Bible speaking about Abraham. This was a man who was trusting God, had received the promise that his seed, you know, talking about Isaac and then Christ prophetically. It says, who against hope? Now, watch the character of faith. I've shared with you, you can get the teaching, the series we've done on faith that the starting point of faith is always the presence of a supposed impossibility that's the starting point of your journey there's no need to have faith over something that is already your experience it says who against hope did what believed in hope that he might become the father of nations according to that which was spoken go ahead and be not weak in faith he considered not this is this is how i want to show you how fear works it begins to bring logic into your faith process put two and two you two use your head apostle is just prophesying and saying before the end of this year you will be a millionaire you have the stupidity to say amen you see that you are considering not just considering you are considering in a doubtful way to believe that that breast lump will just disappear within a few minutes to believe that god would turn around your life bring a helper to your destiny and wipe your tears he considered not that's the first thing the spirit of fear does it makes you to begin to consider you say okay it's not like i don't believe but come on is it not that class i graduated with Abba, let's be real you hear that let's be real I read so 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 I graduated with that class Abba. and you ask your roommate or anybody and say if even if it's you will you employ me say, I won't employ you let me just tell you the truth I will say my mind you see how people say it and they think it's a very wise statement me I'll tell you my own church mind I won't do this and, and that and then you carry that certificate and look at it and say God is this how you are planned to disgrace me and you drop it back and say it's over and god says ah, ah, you took me out of this equation and you are just being frustrated like that consider not brothers and sisters when god speaks to you take your eyes away from the reasons why it will not come to pass and keep your eyes there let god apologize to you for failing you but on your own part remain there are we together he considered not his own body when he was an hundred years old neither the deadness of sarah's womb 20. number two he staggered not staggered not 
This is what the Bible calls, Apostle James calls it a double-minded person. Do you know what a double-minded person is? Inventing options as a result of fear. Inventing options. Lord, this is it. I am trusting you. This is what you are going to do. Lord, I'm trusting you. I'm taking this direction. And all of a sudden, because of fear, all of a sudden you start fabricating plan B, plan C, plan D. Some of these things we do and we think they are proofs of wisdom. No, sir. If God tells you, I will make you a nation, brothers and sisters, even if you are inside a hut, believe him. No plan B. Men of faith are those who burn the bridges behind them. Like Esther, if I perish, I perish. This is how I walk with God. There's no possibility of plan B. If God tells me, son, this is how we are going, I say, Lord, let's go. If there is fire there, I remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I walk through that fire. That's what it takes to be a man of faith. Organizing a miracle service like this is suicidal. You must be a man of faith. You don't know the cases and the problems and the challenges that people have. What then gives you the audacity to call nations together and assure them that they will experience the power of God? It takes faith. Are we together? You start a business, it takes faith. Who gave you a guarantee that they will like your products or your services? And you have the audacity to commit funds, commit structures, commit leadership, and then open up and say, okay, the whole world come and be blessed. He staggered not. Some of you are already staggering. Lord, I trust you, but Tom, staggered not. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Giving glory. Another word is giving praise. Giving praise. Full of praise. 21, the last verse. This was the third thing that he did. And this is the third thing that fear does. Remember, the first thing fear does is that you begin to consider. Brings logic into your spiritual process. Are we together? Number two is that it causes you to stagger. And then number three, it begins to dwindle your persuasion. The Bible says, I'm being fully persuaded. Conviction. But I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded it was paul who said i am persuaded that neither life nor death nor this and that and that he i'm being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was also able now hold on very powerful scripture that what he promised he was also what that means you the, when satan begins to bring fear the first thing that suffers is your revelation of god's ability 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 he uses your senses to attack god's ability listen listen to me um let me use someone come sam now watch this sam if i say i'm going to give you let's say hundred thousand naira, the first thing you do is to look at me in your mind and whatever parameter and you believe if i say i'm going to give you one million you will look if i say i'm going to give you 10 million if i say i'm going to give you 100 million that's how that conviction will start dwindling then if i say sam by next week you're going to carry a private jet the, your mind will just there will be no there's no provision in your mind to believe it. you are not even going to receive it are we together you will respectfully laugh but the truth is that you don't even believe him now you may not know but that you're laughing it looks like an it's like the kiss of judas a kiss is a good thing until somebody uses it as a strategy to chain you. Judas kissed Jesus and said, this is the guy. So you can laugh. The Bible says, Mary had dwelt good like medicine. But that laugh is not a laugh of faith. That laugh is a laugh of doubt because you think I wouldn't do it. Like Sarah's laughter. Are we together now? And so when God says, Sam, I'm going to change your life. Fear comes. What does fear do? He says, look, if God said he was going to give you a new shoe, it makes sense. God can raise somebody in Koinonia. But God says he's giving you a house by December. Is, is, God, is God stupid? That's fear talking to you. And you sit and say, I believe a shoe, but I don't believe a house. Then you limit God like they did in the wilderness. And only a shoe comes to you. And comes to validate the limitation you placed on God. 
But that does not mean he could not give you a house. That does not mean he could not build a great destiny for you. Brothers and sisters, tonight as we trust God, we are going to do a very quick walk here. I want you to take away fear from your life fear of finances now that you know the whole recession is on people fear do you know one of the major reasons why people are poor i'm telling you this it's not because they are lazy it's because of the fear of it they think about lack so much they expect it it comes to them all wealthy people are courageous people they believe when God says, I'm going to bless you, you just sit and think and say, which of my uncles? Uncle James, poor. Uh, Uncle Sivanus, poor. The other, my father's younger brother, poor. Oh God, how are you going to now help me? You see that? My elder brother that was working in January, they now sacked him. God, I will 100,000 come. And God looks at you and says, with all you have been learning in Koinonia, this is how much you believe me? But there are people who say, Lord, whether I believe you or not, there's no option. So now I'm, I'm, I trust you. Do anything you can do. And all of a, a sudden, strangers will come and feed your flock. And say, I don't know you, sister. But while Koinonia was going on, you even, you just look at it and say, no, 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 don't be afraid. God just told me, please come and see me in my office tomorrow. And he said, what is this? He said, God gave me an instruction. Gone are the days where people get testimonies and say, God told somebody to do this. You know, there used to be times like that where God is now. You don't hear those things because we don't believe it. We have brought carnality to our lives. You don't ever believe God directs men. We believe Satan sends men, but we don't believe God directs men. I want you to live in that reality where you believe, reject fear. My sister, my brother, hear me. Reject fear. Satan prevails over your life with fear. Brothers and sisters, especially our gentlemen, fear of establishment. When will I get more? How much is one bag of nangotesement? And you start calculating, you are considering. That's fear. Does, you are not planning. That one is not planning. Planning is correct. You are putting a plan to dance around it and rejoice. But fear. Now say, use your brain. How much is one, one plot of land? You see that? You now put it, how much is two plots? How much is a good car? How much is dowry? How much is, is uh, uh, furniture? When you calculate everything, you say, according to my modest calculation, it's nine million, and you laugh. You just throw it away and say, look, let me just thank God. You think that was an act of faith. A man of faith says, Lord, I do not know how the wind will come. Kabbalah, Kataya. I don't know how the rain will come, but I learned from scripture that you received for me power. Listen, let me teach you. There is a way you can frustrate Satan. You stagger not. Lord, I don't know how it will happen, but I know. Satan wants to bring something, another scripture just wells up. Ah. But is it not God that you trusted yesterday that you fell? Remember not the former things. That's why you must be full of the word to walk in faith. That every time Satan comes, it is written, shoots out of you like an arrow. It is written. It is written. It is written. Ah, when you failed yesterday, where was God? And then he says, for your shame, I will give you double. Good reply for a spirit. Is it not you that everybody saw you and left you? Just looked at you and said you are a nobody. And the Bible says, where men have deserted you so that no man passes through you, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. With the limitation, how are you going to go abroad? Are you not seeing if you ever, if you go around the embassy, they will so kick you out of that place. And you sit down and remember Joseph that he was in the prison and the bible says and the king not the king's aid the king himself sent for him kings can send for mean men and transform their lives hmm. when you are not full of the word when pressure pushes at you all that will come out is culture all that will come out is all of these things brothers and sisters god is going to do a quick work tonight is our last miracle service but i want you please and please i want you to join me believe this god he is believable he is reliable are you hearing what i'm saying god can change the stories of people please do not let anyone mock you oh 
we are in a strange season where God is changing people's lives overnight overnight this overnight dimension I know in my spirit that people are entering it overnight when you see someone who was already on his way to being successful it's not strange but somebody overnight is Saul also one of the prophets what happened to him overnight Saul I thought you were looking for your father's donkey and Saul says I encountered Samuel and an anointing came upon me and all of a sudden things started happening hallelujah God did something in my life today that almost brought tears out of my eyes I just sat down and I, I almost fought tears and fought tears and I said God you are dependable you are truly dependable brothers and sisters I want to bring you to a realm where after you leave this you will never say one thing in church and say another you don't have to fight with people when people come with their sarcasm just keep quiet a settled reality if I die trusting him I die but God is able somebody say God is able say it again God is able all our problems as human beings can be classified into seven categories and only seven categories i won't go there because of time but the the challenges we are facing are not new it's from health am i right to money to breakthrough to deliverance to all of these things which one of them does not have a representation in the word of god is it your rent is it the time of famine are we together is it the breakthrough is it the limitations brothers and sisters my god is able my god is able i don't know about your own god but my god is able i believe him and i'm not going to give room for the devil listen listen this scientific christianity we must we must rise beyond that realm of science and trust god tell me how the clouds stay without a pillar nobody has ever renovated the cloud to readjust it stays by itself hmm. god spoke to job tell me how you can give the rivers borders and say thus far have you come no further shall you go this is the god we serve if you doubt if god can look men look at my life look at my life brothers and sisters I came tonight to challenge you to believe this God. You can sit down and continue arguing and laughing at those who are engaging their faith and turn and see that you are 40 years, 45, and there is no result whatsoever because it never happens by magic. Blessed is she that believes, both in the open and in the secret. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her alone, there shall be a performance this christianity that you trust god in the open and then in the secret you laugh you are sarcastic no no i believe him i believe him he has earned my trust i believe him i believe him i believe him tonight to heal the sick i believe him tonight to cast out devils I believe him brothers and sisters I know that you may have gone through several things some of us here there are dreams that have died you have buried it but I want you to rise up again and to tell yourself I will make it take it down for me let's sing one song before we disgrace the devil in this place what's that song um you don't have to worry you know the song and don't you be afraid joy comes in the morning troubles may not last away listen to the song carefully there's a friend in jesus who will wipe your tears away and if your heart is broken, Shabala Kataya, just lift your hand. Hey, oh. I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. I know that I can stand. No matter what comes no matter what may come my way. My life is in my your hands. Life. 
with Jesus I can make it with Jesus I can with Jesus I can make it with him I know I can stand with him I know I can stand no matter what may come away my life is in your hands hallelujah listen there is no giving up in this kingdom uh -uh. there is no did you hear what i said there is no giving up in this kingdom i want you to go back to the archives of the things you have left and say lord i'm taking it back that dream that business i started it by january by march i was crying but at your word i'm going back again i'm going back you are faithful let them laugh at you you know hold on please I was studying um i think it was last week or so i was just studying a video on the great inventors the top was it 10 or 20 inventors in our world you know right from the time recorded history and i was reading through their lives one by one i only got to number five or six and i stopped and i told myself i said joshua selman don't you ever complain again i said my god why didn't they teach us the obstacles that this man had to cross why do we approach our lives as though something unusual happened go and read about their lives the history makers and see how they smash records when people told them you will not make it they said my life's goal is to prove to you and many of them were christians brothers and sisters the bible says that unto principalities and powers that it will be shown the manifold wisdom the manifold wisdom you don't look like it but that's why it's called his grace you don't look like it until his hand comes upon you and they say why you and you say go and ask him oh go and ask him go and ask him I'm motivating somebody and I'm speaking to you let me tell you something brothers and sisters God is dependable kill fear in your life when we start to pray I like you to pray with all your heart and as you pray I like you to trust God you may feel the pain of the sickness but as you pray you want it and say just a few minutes I will only be patient with you for a few more minutes and you are living my body and living forever you may not be sick in your body but you have myriads of issues that only God can step in financial issues health issues I like you to bring it before the God of your salvation and say God I know you are able oh I don't know how you will do it witchcraft in your family demonic things and say Lord it will end I know it I know it no job no destiny no joy he said I'm, I'm before you I'm not before a herbalist I know my God is able open your mouth in one minute personally talk to him if you have to talk to him in your language go ahead <laughs> Those outside pray. Lord, I believe you once again. Hallelujah. I believe you once again. The God of my salvation. The God of Jeshuron. I believe you again for my family. I believe you again for my academics. I believe you again for my marriage. I believe you again for my children. I believe you for my finances. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. You are dependable. You are reliable. Talk to him. Tonight is a night where my dreams are coming alive again that anointing that ministry that business in the name of Jesus in spite of the mockery in spite of the shame in spite of the mistakes in spite of the setbacks in spite of the failure I arise like a giant rejoice not over me my enemies though I fall yet will I rise yet will I rise my God is still alive I know his name 
Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Pray. I came to Him, the one who can change my life, change my ministry. You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here wiping every tear. I worship you. I worship you. We make miracle walk, promise me light in the darkness. That is who you are. We make we make miracle walk, promise keep promise keep light in the darkness. In the darkness. My God. Listen, listen to me. Don't ask how it will happen. When I stepped in, I heard, I heard, I think it was Mary. I have followed the issue of her dad. When some of us here are related to police people and all of that, I'm just using her story for an illustration. When she told me about the miracle that happened, I said, God, I fear you. Because what was happening, they were supposed to shoot and kill her dad. That's the punishment for the supposed offense. But when he steps in, this is my God. God is not a man. No. God is not your neighbor. God is not a landlord. God is not a president. He's not a governor. God is not an ambassador. God all by himself. When he steps in, all of a sudden he begins to shift things. Listen. Brothers and sisters, hear me. I want you to believe God to shift things. This is, this is my assignment. Believe Him to push things in your life. In one minute, I'd like you to mention every challenge you came here with and say, Lord, I believe you. You will change it. Go ahead. Go ahead and pray. Lord, I believe you. You will change my financial situation. Lord, I believe you. You can send helpers my way. Men are still on earth. Lord, I believe you. You can lift me. Lord, I believe you. You can give my life speed. If you came here for this service tonight, pray. Pray. I believe you. <laughs> Hello, him out of night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Hello, ye Madonna, thy kingdom come, thy will be Hello, ye Madonna, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Will be done. Hello, ye Madonna, thy kingdom come, Hello, give my donut. 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 Hello, give my donut.
hallelujah tonight is the last miracle service for the year please i don't want you to miss out on anything there is a very very strong anointing to bring performance performance listen 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 to me please now you see because of the nature of the miracle service some of you want i may not be able to call everybody one by one to speak to you the purpose of calling is just to give the holy spirit room to address as he brings but let me tell you this i've told you again and again calling people and talking and all of that is you can see how, how much time sometimes can be spent talking to one person the most important thing is that your faith is released to say lord turn my life around listen don't pray a cheap prayer tonight lord turn everything around 180 degrees turn it around turn it around turn it around let my life change it is within your power to make it happen hallelujah hallelujah now listen we're going to start tonight praying for the sick first there is a very strong healing anointing in this place and we're going to pray for the sick brothers and sisters i want you to believe god that any demonic thing that has latched onto you it must leave you sickness is not the will of god not near it are we together sickness is not the will of god and shortly i'm going to be asking sick people to come out in all of the overflows i want us to focus on sick people and pray all the other things we can do a quick work but it takes a lot of time to minister to the sick and we're going to do this very fast but i want you to maintain an attitude of prayer but before then i want you to lift your hands please i want to pray lift your hands i want to pray tonight is a night of breakthrough we are coming there but i have to pray i have to pray for breakthrough hallelujah just keep your hands don't say anything don't do anything hallelujah keep your hands please let's just walk with the spirit of god breakthrough the lord is bringing breakthrough now when when you hear me say this it's not just about those who fall under the anointing and shout the falling under the anointing is just an evidence it, it doesn't it has totally nothing about is for you to receive it doesn't mean that you see someone fall under the anointing and say wow this is the one god is touching no i'm teaching you how to receive you receive by faith it has nothing to do with falling or not falling are we together now you receive by faith what is breakthrough the grace that smashes the limitations that stands before you so that you move forward there is a grace that does that i want to pray for you now jesus i see fire that's what i'm seeing this is this is I'm, i don't know what kind of flame what color this is now but i'm seeing that grace inside and outside right now i stretch my hands it's coming on people right now receive it now don't worry i stretch it just keep your hands lifted right now it's coming on people overflow one two three right up those online is a grace don't say anything just lift your hands that grace is coming on people i'm telling you i'm seeing doors these are like doors I, i've seen this many times but these are like chains chains doors opening i'm stretching my hands to you right now let's just allow god do what he's doing shabakata the breakthrough grace the breaker anointing changing people's lives changing people's lives changing people's lives right now in the name of jesus receive it all over this building all over the overflows all over the overflows enough is enough enough is enough of those challenges thank you jesus thank you jesus keep your hands lifted don't worry we're going to do a, a quick walk god is bringing something he's still bringing breakthrough 
and the lord is telling me to tell those people that this grace is coming upon i'm hearing in my spirit december 2nd this is from now till that time december 2nd a strange walk strange walk of the spirit strange walk the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace you don't have to bring them out we're going to ask the sick to come just hold them breakthrough grace i stretch my hands breakthrough grace there are families that must enter this anointing now enough is enough said the spirit of god there are families that must enter this anointing i provoke that grace let it cross borders in the spirit and go to families families shabbatakata families lord bring them into this grace families the overflow three i'm seeing god touch a lot of people there this breakthrough anointing overflow three overflow three there is a strange move of the spirit happening there god is touching people this breakthrough anointing many of us need breakthrough we don't even know we need it impossibilities turning impossibilities turning breakthrough breakthrough let's just allow that grace land and we'll pray for the sick breakthrough you will be surprised to see the testimonies that will rise from it breakthrough i stretch my hands again breakthrough that grace that grace that grace shabata skapara shubreskelea breakthrough that breakthrough grace I'm seeing a few people, I'm seeing fire rising from their feet. This is still breakthrough. This is still breakthrough. Fire rising like from a man's legs upward. Fire. At least 17 people I'm seeing scattered across. In the name of Jesus, let it rise. Lord, their destinies are the mercy of these encounters. Let's just participate and allow the Lord do what he's doing. Parakota Segedekata Sholeasa Mabreketea is a river that fire burning every chaff is a year of triumph. It must happen to you. It must happen to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we are going to pray for the sick. I'm praying for the sick fast because the Lord is going to move in a very, very prophetic way in this place tonight. And I want us to pray for the sick very fast. Now watch this. Please, if you are sick in your body, you came here for a miracle. Overflow. Um, let's see. Those in overflow one. Those under the anointing, just let them be. Those in overflow one. You are going to come out here. Um, okay. Inside. I'm part of overflow too. The ones at the roadside, maybe half of it, you can join them and come here. If you are trusting God for a terminal disease, now, a terminal disease is something that is somewhat a death sentence. Please, whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I want to lay hands on you by myself. A terminal disease. A termi that means something that is a death sentence. You know, maybe uh, HIV AIDS or a cancer or something like that. And please don't just come let's not crowd this place there are ministers that are going to be ministering overflow one come um out at your projector stand inside here come out part of overflow two join them and then the remaining go to the front of your projector outside overflow three i want all of you to come up and we're going to pray very very fast it's going to be a very quick walk god bless you quickly please come now you're coming out come and line up here quickly quickly overflow one please come out quickly while they are doing that i like us to begin to pray and say father let every sickness represented here bow to the name of the lord jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray let every sickness bow to the name of the lord
Your people have come to you, the healer. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus. We believe, Jesus. Listen, I want you to believe God for miracles so that you can be perfectly whole to serve the Lord. You must reject sickness from your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, Pastor Jimmy. Um, let's see. You go to Overflow 3, you and Promise, Overflow 3. I think there should be many more people. If there are many more people there, then we may add some other people. Um, Ejimi and Promise will go to Overflow 3. Um, Pastor Alpha, you are at Overflow 2. Um, Benga and Kenny, you'll be at Overflow 1 outside. Mike, you join um, whoever is you know, going to Overflow 2. I think that, that would be okay. Those online, release your faith. Go ahead, guys. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare... Let the corporate grace of the Spirit flow in this place. Let there be signs and wonders through your Holy Son. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. In Jesus' name I pray. Now please, listen. I don't want you to be distracted. Remain in that prayer mode. As we pray for you, I want you to check yourself. I want you to do what you couldn't do even as you return to your seat. And whilst they are praying, God bless you guys. Go ahead. No, go find praise the lord and as soon as we pray then we're going there will be massive deliverance and prophecy here i want us to be as fast as possible the worship team will set the atmosphere for us please everyone i want you to pray you may be seated where you are you are trusting god for the healing of a loved one let's trust the healing anointing and let's let's tap into what god is doing right now father we give you all the praise let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ Father, we thank you. Let there be miracles.
have shown me so much you mercy. Me so much, mercy. much more than more I desire. Than I deserve. Oh, Nisha, oh. oh Nisha, God, you're the God of awesome wonder. I've tasted of your power. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Justina. Who is Justina? Justina. Justina. Our time is gone. Justina. I'm hearing a name, Justina. We're going to enter a very strong session um, of deliverance and prophecy. We have to be very fast. I'm trying to conserve time. I'm hearing the name Justina. Justina. What's your name? Justina. You have this song that they just raised now. This song now, my beautifier. That's a song for you. That's what God is doing in your life. Stand up. You know how you make a woman up? Maybe when there's wedding or there's a program. I'm looking at plenty ladies gathering around you. And they're doing all these things for your face. Hmm? This is... This is, are you married? God is opening the door of marriage for you. Hmm? In the name of Jesus Christ. Justina. Mama? Justina. Justina. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I'm seeing something like oil being put on you. I stretch my hands towards you. And I decree and declare, let that anointing come upon your life. Change your story forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Madam, what's your name? Ma? Justina. Justina. Do you know why I'm saying that? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing this woman. I'm seeing you holding a man. You are walking and later on I see you walking alone. Where's your husband? Dead son. He's what? Dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead, you mean? Yes, um, I want to pray for you. Don't be afraid. Because I'm seeing 
something that looks like the face of your husband calling you to come that's not your husband that's a demon spirit i have to pray the living and the dead don't have anything in common madam i want to pray for you are we together now mm. so i'll lay my hands in the name of jesus i have had death from your life in the name of jesus everything bringing your husband's face to call you is not love he's dead he's gone in the name of jesus i separate you mama the lord is going to I, I've, I've known this madam and the case in their family but there is a yoke of suffering this is the first time god is showing me this wahala mm? and god is going to take it away in the name of jesus christ i know about her daughter's issue i've been following up with the family but i look at this woman and the lord said there is a cause of hardship nothing that anybody does really really works it must turn later on and there are many people like that where well, soon i'm coming to you that thing must leave you i told you about this hardship hardship is one of the major reasons people don't smile hardship is more than poverty praise the lord my mind the name of jesus i pray for you may the lord himself locate you in jesus name i pray amen your name is Josina. where is she where's you okay your mother and your younger sister in the name of jesus the prayer i want to pray for you now i can't remember which miracle service but please just help mama she's under the anointing get a chair or something someone donate your chair let her sit down and calm down god is doing something in her family just keep her somewhere please i've prayed it before but the lord is saying i should tell you again that your family is entering a season of reward it's entering a season of reward entering a season of reward the lord himself will make it happen i'm hearing affinity 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 please make sure it's your name what's your name the affinity i'm talking about is here somewhere um you're younger i'll pray for you affinity this person is outside affinity the Lord is telling me there's somebody outside. Afiniki. Afiniki. If I could appear here as God, what I would tell you based on what I've seen is congratulations. God is going to do something in your life that will surprise you. How many prayer requests did you write? Six. Six. Go outside, read number four very well. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you a finicky? Father, in the name of Jesus, visit this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. This lady, this one, my sister, you, looking at me, come. Please, let's, let's save time. I don't want us to stay here too long. Is this your first time here? You've been coming here. I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Kai, what I'm seeing is not good. Hmm? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing, you know, the horn of a calf. That's what I'm seeing on you. And we have to pray. I'm not saying you're a demon. You get what I'm saying? This is your miracle service is where God sets us free. Hold my hands. Hold it. Hold it with both of your hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, please set this lady free. There are many things wrong but the lord is bringing order in the name of jesus christ i hold your hands now and i judge the horns of wickedness the horns of wickedness if i don't pray for you your life is going to be full of suffering and strange disappointment from men in the name of jesus i command by the anointing of the holy ghost right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let there be deliverance for you now I lay my hands on your head and I decree and declare that everything you are carrying that is not of the Christ, I command it to leave you now. And I pray that every legal access upon which the devil is attempting to destroy your life, I plead the blood on your behalf right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Agnes, 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 Agnes. There's someone with that name. Agnes. 
Agnes Agnes I wish I had time Kai. Agnes You are Agnes You are what? Who is Agnes here? Who is Agnes? Your mother gave you Agnes Who is that? Your name is Agnes Your name is Agnes I'll pray for you but I'm seeing Agnes and the Lord Your Agnes Your mother Are they sisters? Who is this? Their wife, but they are all sisters. Three of them are sisters. Who is this? She's their brother's wife. She, I'm looking at this, and the Lord is saying, Let's avert. I'm looking at this picture, it's empty, but I'm saying, Rest in peace. Huh? Lord Jesus, by your mercy, she lit. She's alive. I'm not a prophet of doom. I hope you understand. When I see this, is the Lord trying to avert something. I avert tears from your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that the Lord will help you in Jesus name. There is an impartation that God is giving you. God is bringing you into a dimension of the anointing. It's, it's a strange level of grace that you are going to enter into. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that by this grace is going to lift you to a dimension that you have never seen. It will make you a light. I'm seeing a torchlight shining. And the Lord is saying, this is your destiny to come with great illumination. In the name of Jesus, your Agnes, two of you, as I lay my hands on you, whatever the issue is, the Lord is stepping in right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 <sighs> Jesus, how time flies. See, these are some of the things that before you know it, just talking to people, and it's already 10 and there is a lot to do right now because we're going to we're going to pray there are people who are going to go through very massive deliverance my sister this is the holding photos come come yes come now my dear guy uh, i have to pray for you what i'm seeing who is this one again agnes Madam, your Agnes, I have to pray for you. Ah, ah. Where are you coming from? Stretch your hands and pray that this woman will not die. I kept looking at her because I'm seeing burial ceremony happening and I'm seeing her same face inside the coffin. What is this thing with this spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ? Please pray. You may not know how it doesn't matter. In the name of Jesus. We avert death. Hallelujah. Father, I lay my hands on this madam and in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that your grace will preserve her Amen. by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. My dear, I want to pray for you. Are you married? Look at me. Look at me. I want to pray for you. There is serious bad luck in your life. You know what they say? Bad luck. Bad luck that at least if some things are happening and other things are not happening, but when there is nothing at all happening in your life, it's not good. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. May the God of all grace, may the God of mercy step in right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of God's grace. Come, darling. Come. This small girl. I keep seeing this girl again and again. God is going to use this girl in a very mighty way. In a very mighty way. Believe me, this, forget that you are seeing a little girl. God is going to use her in ways that will surprise people. Father, use this lady beyond imagination. In the name of Jesus, let her experience your grace and your power. In the name of Jesus, your grace and your power. In the name of Jesus. There was a man and a woman that were sitting in front here, just where I'm standing. Like an elderly man, one, one gentleman and a lady. Where are they? Please look for them. 
Are you together? Come. How are you, sir? Can I pray for you? Your, your first time here? This is your first time. From where? From Abuja. I want to pray for you. God is going to change your story. I saw these scenes when I came up. It's just that now the Lord said, minister to them. I don't know you. Never seen you. But I want to pray for you. Let me tell you, sir. Except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain. Hmm? Except the Lord builds a house. It doesn't mean, I'm, I'm, what do you do? I'm seeing contracts. It will be like it's coming, but then it will disappear. Is that true? Yes. One of the major things that brought you here. Because you are very skilled and you are very good. There was, you are supposed to have been a multi-millionaire since last year. There is a big contract that God would have given you. But for some reason, the thing just went. Even you, is still surprising you how that thing did not work. Is that true? You, you thought you offended the person you worked with. Because I noticed it's like you are communicating, then communication broke. There's no communication. Yes. Is that true? I want to pray for you. You believe God can change stories. You heard what I said here. Yes. What's your relationship? Oh, you are the wife. Wife, God is about to visit your family. In, say amen. In remarkable ways. You are an architect. You believe what I'm telling you? Look, let me tell you something. You see, brothers and sisters, we are going to pray, but this thing eh, is not by power and by might. One. Two, it's not by hustling. Are we together? It's not by just God uses men, but blessings don't come from men. They come from God through men to you. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You have children? How many? Is that all? Don't be embarrassed. I usually will not. You saw that I kept quiet, Abby? Huh? Because I'm hearing the cry of a baby. And I'm seeing a hospital and I'm seeing it's a baby girl. This is what I'm seeing. You see, I'm not... <laughs> I hope I'm not messing two of you up. You have wonderful couples that came in peace for the issue of finances. But then, please don't be surprised whatever happens. God is in control. It's the will of God. Eh? Um, two children is not what... Because what I'm seeing, you will be surprised. I don't want to say this thing in public. You said you have two children. Okay, we'll see. And then we'll talk about that. Eh? So that we don't... Uh... But in the name of Jesus, hold my hands. The Lord is going to honor you. Father, lift this man up. In the name of Jesus, I release an anointing. Enter a strange level of favor. You came from Abuja in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, as I pray for you, the Lord is going to open doors of favor beyond your imagination. Step into that dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. The guys outside are still there. Are we done? Okay. Please, um, we have a few minutes and I want to pray seriously. I want to, God is going to be visiting people in very strange ways right now. Are we together? Please, I like your heart to be connected. There are everything that is sitting on anyone's destiny. I'm going to pray. And as I begin to pray, I want you to believe God for a miracle. A miracle. Come. The Lord keeps speaking to me about this lady's family. That this family, he will not rest until this family enters her rest. That's what the Lord is telling me. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. Listen, when we pray like this, it's not just some jamboree to see people manifest. No, that's not the idea. But that there are spirits. There are spirits. Lady, look at me. Shift, please. Osha, shift. Let me talk to that lady. Just tap her, let her see me and noise her. Hold on, just where you are. Lift your hands. I'm seeing something crying and jumping out of you. I stretch my hands, let it leave you now and leave you forever in the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, spirits are real. They take advantage. 90% of people's challenges are caused by the presence of spirits and when we pray like this much more than the manifestation it is god visiting you to separate you from the obstacles that's really it you may come with 10 prayer requests caused by one spirit and just that spirit leaving you you go back and you see testimonies are we together 
Lift your hands. I want to pray. Jesus. At the count of three, please, I want you to shout, Jesus, please, just, if you can, just clear the aisles for me. It's going to be very, very, very serious right now. Few minutes, please, let's be patient. This is the last miracle service. And let God do what he will do now. At the count of three, I want you all to shout the name Jesus. We do this every time, not as a ritual. It is the name that is above all names. That every power and every force that dares to sit upon anyone's life, manipulating the outcomes of your physical results, in the name of Jesus, as you shout Jesus inside, outside, may that fire begin to locate men. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, three. I command judgment on every strange spirit in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out. Shabatos Kapariata. Leketeketekete. Kebras Katos Shabariata. Bekebros Kataliata. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that every force sitting on anyone's destiny. It's time for you to let them go by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, I command judgment on the wicked. Lift your hands. One more time, we're going to shout Jesus. Lift your hands. At the count of three, the spirits of ancestry sitting on families that you will not rise let them go now one two three go 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 i open the door and i command you to leave them now leave your destinies now lift your hands i want to pray the bible says he has redeemed us from every tribe and every tongue and every nation but there are spirits that are rejecting it listen i'm seeing people in dreams having all kinds of intercourse with strange spirits and you wake up in the morning with bad luck you go to bed and a spirit human or animal entities i'm seeing it at the count of three something will happen to you that will set you free one two three shout jesus let them go release their destinies now strangers of the night strangers of the night i command you let them go lift your hands i'm still praying we're still praying i don't know why god is showing me dreams dreams destiny is manipulated through dreams manipulated through dreams you are going to shout that name again fire will come on you and that will be the end of it everyone here whose dream has been hijacked and the devil is bringing wars to your life at the count of three be free now one two three be free now be free now be free now your hands i want to destroy patterns what happened to you happened to your brother what happened to your mother happened to your father they raped your mother they are now raping you they destroyed your father they are now destroying you no way in christ the bible says we have been separated let me tell you hold on many of you the power of god will come upon you from this prayer there are strange patterns abnormal coincidences that bring war to people's lives lift your hands when it's time to shout shout it with all your heart 
my god and my king i ask that you move like a mighty man and destroy patterns patterns at the count of three one two three be destroyed patterns patterns i cost you in the name of jesus hallelujah please i like you to be sensitive there is a strong anointing god is doing a quick work very few minutes i don't know why god does it but he gives me that direction that as i begin to move around many things happen at once deliverance impartation several things just happen listen whatever your challenge is i want you to just it's not about me there are angelic just leave them that in the name of jesus as i walk around very fast god is going to step in and the power of god if there is anything unresolved as i pass your row i want you to believe the god of heaven is stepping stepping over your life right now stepping over your life in the name of jesus that anything that is yet to be settled i stretch my hands now right now let the anointing of the holy ghost begin to settle people in the name of jesus i command it i command it everything everything that is not of god of this role everything i cost you i cost you now in the name of jesus i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now be free in the name of jesus lift your hands i decree i decree I'm seeing chains, chains on this road. Lose them now. Lose them now. Lose them now. Lose them now. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Lose them now. Be sensitive as the anointing comes to you. It's bringing you out now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. And listen, those of you outside, I want you to be sensitive. Our time is gone, but we're going to be very fast. As I pass your row, many of you will see that the anointing of the Spirit will come on you. The Lord is bringing breakthrough in the name of Jesus right now. Let there be breakthrough from the front row, right down as I walk through. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Miracles, breakthroughs, right now, by the anointing of the Spirit, receive it right now receive it i open closed doors god is opening someone's doors here i command doors be open doors be open just believe by faith doors be open doors be open as i come close to you the anointing of the holy ghost the anointing of the holy ghost is bringing that miracle right now let it be over. Let it be over. I stretch my hands. Let it be over in the name of Jesus. Let it be over in the name of Jesus. This last miracle service. My sister, your tears are over. That's what the Lord is saying. Your tears are over. The mighty God is moving on your behalf. Please lift your hands. I command it. Receive right now. Receive right now. An anointing is coming on people. Receive right now believe by faith receive right now change their stories change their stories change their left and right left and right the holy ghost is touching people over over captivity over as i come to your role believe by faith i stretch my hands somebody in this road your destiny has been tied i lose you now i lose you now i lose you now the anointing of the spirit is coming on you wherever you are i lose you now receive it right now in the name of jesus bad luck bad luck leave him now over over forever over forever over the lord is asking me to stretch my hands on this road i stretch my hands receive that grace right now receive that grace receive that grace by the anointing of the spirit i cast this devil out of him now 
in the name of Jesus there's somebody here the Lord is saying open the door of marriage I open it I don't know who that is receive the anointing now receive the anointing now Shabbat Sotos Ekatos Katali Katos Shabrekete Kotos Shekete Kaparakatos Kaliprakatos Shekeriatas now please those of you in this will take note I'm seeing an anointing Shabbat Sotos Sata Eleke Soto Prekete Katali Katos Shebrekeria there is a great man of God that God is raising here out of this row, this row here an anointing is coming on someone a strange grace, please help them in the name of Jesus you will never, never be the same never be the same God is solving people's problems it has taken 10 years but I'm solving it, the Lord is saying it has taken 10 years but I'm solving your problem, lady look at me the Lord is wiping your tears that's what the Lord is saying, it's over over, over by the spirit over by the spirit for your family over over by the spirit in the name of Jesus please I want you to receive by faith believe someone is being healed here God is taking away a family sickness a pattern let it go now this row I'm standing on please believe release your faith in the name of Jesus I'm standing here and I'm hearing a new song a new song God is giving some persons here a new song receive it right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus please believe my dear look at me lift your hands this lady in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands here I'm seeing the number 11 Lord, everyone that must enter their destiny here, I separate you from witchcraft now. Eleven people, right now. Sukatos kaparukatos, zeketo koto koto katabakata, skatos zapreketo zapriata, ekretos keliada. There's someone in the media stand, around the media there. I'm seeing like lights just entered you, and you are rising to a new dimension. I saw someone at the media stand. I've seen two people at the, the minister's row. The minister's row. The Lord is touching them. Two people. A strange anointing for speed. I'm stretching my hands here right now. And in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Step into that dimension of your destiny. Hallelujah. Please, everyone, very quickly, our time is up. I want you to lift your prayer request. Pass it to the last person quickly. Quickly, please. Our time is up let's let's just be please be patient with me we'll be done in a jiffy but we need to do this a very quick walk it doesn't matter where i stand i don't have to stand in front just leave please ushers very quickly coordinate yourselves and collect them just lift it pass it to the last person and that last person lift it up please lift it up so that the ushers can collect everyone say after me in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that between now and the end of this year every prophetic word over my life must come to pass lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice don't look at me pray I decree and I declare that between now and December every prophetic word that has been decreed every prophetic word that has been decreed must come to pass every prophetic word that has been decreed where the ushers they should collect you go ahead and pray go ahead and pray every prophetic word say after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the grace for extraordinary results I receive it right now lift your voice and pray please pray as you are praying you are receiving it
in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare please pray it pray it with faith a manifestation say after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every human agent that needs to partner with God to take me to the place of destiny I call you into my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and declare in the name of Jesus after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every dormant gift every dormant ability within me that should bless me but is not yet activated I activate it by the anointing lift your voice and pray every dormant gift every ability every dormant gift every ability by the anointing of the Holy Ghost activated say in the name of Jesus the grace for supernatural direction into the will of God for my life I receive that grace now open your mouth and pray the grace for direction into the accurate will of God two more prayer points Say in the name of Jesus, I take authority over the spirit of fear in my life, in my family. I decree and declare that I no longer fear. Lift your voice and pray. I curse the spirit of fear. Fear of the future, fear of death, fear of sickness. last prayer point in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every dimension of the anointing that must come upon me for the next season I open up my spirit and I receive it into my life lift your voice and pray the anointing is the difference The anointing is a difference. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, I want you to stretch your hands. You've heard the testimonies that come from this. This is a mystery that God gave those online i want you to stretch your hands from whatever nation of the world you're connecting from just whether it's your device whatever just believe by faith families gather together and we're here praying we're believing god the god of all flesh i want you to stretch your hands here as i bow my knees to the god of heaven and pray on these requests in the name of jesus christ all i want you to be saying is lord everything i've dropped here i pick it up as a testimony are we together open your mouth and pray i decree and declare in the name of jesus please make sure all the requests are here make sure that the requests are here 
Habala barota sada brega digashia. Please pray. Lekata paroka to sabrega dish. Raba baba roko to sabrega de balana bush. I pick it up as testimonies. Are you praying? Lekata braka to sh. Lekata pakoroto soto prekete shakata kata parakatos. Turn it around, oh God. Turn it around, oh God. Impossible situations. Turn it around, oh God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare that the same way I'm stepping on this request, that's how you rise above every challenge here. no matter how impossible the situation is i agree with you whether it is academic career marital financial whatever it is we release our faith to the god of all flesh and we command that the requests are turned to testimonies someone is saying god can you do it for me before december yes sir yes sir yes sir I decree and declare this is what the Lord is ministering to me someone is saying Lord I know you will do it but can you do it before December in the name of Jesus may my God surprise you there are issues here that ordinarily would take years to be done but in the name of Jesus before this year listen you will not enter 2018 with this request in the name of jesus i decree and declare i know you didn't apply for the job and you've been hearing people say they get jobs supernatural i don't know whether you believe it or not but i stand on your request and i release a miracle for you in the name of jesus christ i release a miracle for you please i want you to receive it as i speak over your finances this finance thing you see there is the prophetic dimension of wealth don't ever join any naysayer to believe that when god helps you financially it doesn't advance your life people who talk those things are either ignorant or wicked are we together many people are grounded almost forever purely because of finances this finance thing can punish you and disgrace you again and again i decree and declare every financial shame represented in anyone's life here by prophecy in the name of jesus may your story change like day and night If there is any one of you that wrote any request that has to do with a financial miracle i stand in the name of jesus my god and my king the one who has helped this ministry before december ending in the name of jesus i put laughter in your mouth <laughs> hallelujah mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man if you are here trusting god for the fruit of the womb before this year ends you will confirm that you are already pregnant in the name of jesus listen i'm prophesying 
for anybody here you have prepared yourself but this job thing has refused to come in the name of jesus whether there is space or not one is created here and you are put there in the name of jesus christ I decree and I declare by the spirit of the living God everyone in need of direction clear direction that you are saying Lord where do I settle where do I go to do I do business do I get a job in the name of Jesus before this weekend wraps up in the dream of a night may my God come to you and visit you One of our passions as a ministry aside from helping people experience intimacy with the holy spirit one of our passion is to help people understand the principles of the kingdom everybody say the principles of the kingdom one of the greatest revelation in my life was the understanding that the kingdom of god is a system that is built on definite structures for me that was the ultimate confirmation that god is a just god hallelujah the bible says he's no respecter of persons and he does not show favoritism whoever can walk this principle of the kingdom ends the right to walk in certain strange order of graces and blessings and may that be your portion tonight in the name of jesus christ so tonight i want to share with us something when the lord gave me the word that he's increasing and expanding our greatness i knew at once that my job is to prepare us so that we do not miss out on the prophetic things that god is doing hallelujah thank you jesus you will be lifted in the name of jesus christ tonight i want to share a very simple spiritual principle and i will tell you why certain people rise and get to some levels and never rise beyond it if you listen if you if you listen and understand what i will teach tonight truly your path will be as a shining light we have prayed we have spoken the word but now is the time to settle down and listen and know how to align with prophecy he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been spoken to you it's not enough that the word comes we must know how to align with the word say amen and tonight i want to teach on a very powerful spiritual principle write it down faithfulness 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 that spiritual formula that governs the rising of men from one level to the other faithfulness i want to show you a powerful formula part of the construction of the kingdom of god this principle was put there and if you know how to walk it then you will keep rising everybody say faithfulness The first point i want you to know tonight is that it is god's desire for us to experience ever increasing success and greatness in every area of our lives it is god's desire for everyone everyone under the sound of my voice and those connecting with us online it is god's desire for everyone to experience ever increasing success ever increasing greatness 
is God's desire for you to move from one level of glory to another. It's important that you know that it is God's desire. There are people who do not believe that it is God's desire for them to experience the blessings of God. To rise from one level of kingdom influence to the other. Say it is the desire of God to see me increase. Hallelujah. But then this, these greater levels that we talk about doesn't just come just because of prayer or prophecy alone there are kingdom principles that we must abide by and if we do then we'll be able to step into these levels and one of them one of them is faithfulness hallelujah there are very few teachings about this faithfulness we teach on prayer we teach on many aspects of kingdom principles and they are good but I, I will show you the all surpassing excellency of faithfulness and how it is able to take a man from nothing and take you to the top hallelujah what is faithfulness right faithfulness means continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment please write I want to be very simple so that every one of us will understand continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment be it towards God be it towards men or be it towards a cause unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards God, towards men or towards a cause. Faithfulness. Faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that God himself called one of the names of God is faithful. He is not just, he doesn't just have faithfulness. He is faithful. That is the quality of God that makes him trustworthy it is the faithfulness of god i remember preaching a message was it last year or year before last faith in the faithfulness of god hallelujah to be faithful means to be dependable it means to be loyal it means to be trustworthy Please, I want you to pay attention tonight. This simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next. But tonight, as light comes, you will arise in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen the blessings of god upon a man's life always come in levels write it you must understand this this is how the kingdom functions there's no other way no matter how anointed you are the blessings of god the anointing of god the grace of god comes upon a man's life in levels hallelujah the blessings of god come in levels listen just this this revelation enough this one i just told you is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed you know all this sharp sharp mentality right and the youth in nigeria have this mentality the average young man is in a hurry we want to be blessed we want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have fifty thousand people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of god's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of god's order 
of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card is faithfulness hallelujah Matthew 25 Matthew 25 very interesting parable that Jesus gave verse 14 Jesus is giving us a parable now see listen the Bible is not a storybook. The Bible is the wisdom of God. And if you follow through, especially the teachings of Jesus, you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom. The way the kingdom was supposed to function. Verse 14. It says, for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man. All right. Traveling into a far country. And he called his servants. Three people, please. Three people, come. You are the servants. Just stand three people. Where's the third person? Just stand face the congregation. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country and called his own servants and delivered unto them goods. Look up. The Bible says they are his servants. That means he has been watching them. Is that true? Do you agree with me? For them to be his servant, it means they had a period of time when they were serving him. And while they served him, he kept watching. And on the strength of his judgment and his findings. Next verse. And unto one, he gave what? Five talents, right? Unto the second, he gave what? Two talents. And to the third, he gave what? What was the factor? It says, according to their several ability. In other words, their capacity to manage that resource are you following me now not according to their prayer request not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one he says but he that received one went and dug the earth you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and hid the lord's money after a long time aha this is another principle what is jesus teaching us here that every time god trusts you with whatever level of grace he will come back there will be accountability are you getting my point there will be a defense there will be a supervision and the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 it says the lord said unto him please go back to verse 20 
behold i have gained besides them five talents more let's see what the master said verse 21 and the lord said unto him well done good and did he say good and hard-working servant good and faithful servant thou hast been what faithful are you seeing now that's the quality i gave you certain gifts i gave you certain opportunities i gave you certain anointings i gave you certain graces i connected you with certain people he said you have been faithful over a few things what's the reward it says i will make you ruler over what many things did the guy pray for it did he fast for it he just showed himself faithful and the lord said i'm ready to take you in other words your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level enter thou into the joy of the lord 22 he who had received two talents came and said you did this and that and that verse 23 the lord said unto him also same word well done good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make you ruler over what this is jesus teaching he's teaching us how the kingdom works let's see what happened to the third person 24 and he which had received the one talent came look at the guy this is the one talent guy now just, just watch carefully he said lord that's him talking now after a long time of god entrusting him with an anointing after a long time god gave him five members and gave him one year and kept watching what he was doing with the five members are you getting my point he kept grumbling and comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you are a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now he said it, it, it was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finished his own number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow he says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now it says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your team wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sow not and gather where i have not sown what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me 
Oh God, give me talent. Give me church. God gave you two members. Now you are complaining. Who pursued you? Who put a gun and said enter ministry? Hallelujah. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming I would have received it with interest. Verse 28. Therefore, listen, this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful. He says, take therefore. It's not only the devil that takes from people. It's in your Bible. God can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful. Take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what? In other words, take from the one who is least faithful. Are you getting my point now? And give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful. Listen. All the three were servants. All the three were emojis. All the three were graduates. Right? But over time, the master kept studying their lives. And he found out that this faithfulness, this formula that qualifies men to the next level, they had it in different degrees. So you can graduate. We all graduated from so, so, so and so department. And then after three years, you will find out that the other person, probably the one you've been laughing at. Are you getting my point? When I heard Khadija giving her testimony, I just sat down and I said to myself, Oh God, I can tell you in all sincerity, and it's not because she's here. While she was here, she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sir. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand i told you the blessings of god always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these scammings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet you see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you you say it's only a matter of time I'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how God blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of God is someone hearing what I'm saying now hallelujah somebody walks up to you sorry about the light I'm sure they are working on it hallelujah it's a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus <laughs> let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels. Hallelujah. I know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate our blessings. We have double portion. We have sevenfold anointing. Huh? We have the favor of God tapping into prophetic uh, uh, unction or fountain or whatever. But let me tell you, and listen i learned this in a very painful way look up please i want to talk to you never try to lift a man that god has not lifted you will be fighting god and you will be an enemy of god and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like uh -uh. oh god but this sister is faithful god you said you should have blessed her and god is saying leave me alone 
I'm the one who sees the heart of men. Listen, if God does not lift anybody, leave them there. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people. You see a man of God and you say, after two years, your church is still five members. Abba, oh God, boy, you are anointed. You are such a nice brother. You greet every sister that comes. And God is saying, continue talking there. Yeah. I know why I kept five people. Then you will see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious. And God blesses the person. I say, God, this thing, I think we need to coordinate this. God is saying, who is the Lord? Is somebody learning something tonight? Say faithfulness. Say it again, faithfulness. The blessings of God always come in levels. That means whatever level God gives you, the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say, Oh God, when will it come? When will that anointing come? When will they start putting water for? Come, come and carry this by water and bring. Oh yeah, now. Bring this my water. Some of you, when you saw them putting the water, you were just looking and say, Ah, when will my turn come? It will never come till you stop thinking about it. Hallelujah. When you see the people serving it, you just laugh. And in your mind, you're already wishing, Oh Lord, give me a church. Give me a ministry. End this my inferiority complex, Oh Lord. And God is just watching you. He said, You think the kingdom is a place of joke? See that? That's what, that's what some of us, you know, ah, yeah, the things that people think about in the house of God. As a hot message like this is going on, there are many people looking at so many things, being distracted at so many things. Hallelujah. Faithfulness. You came into a church and they say, okay, join the workers. Say, join which kind of workers? I was Bible study secretary in my, my, my local assembly. I even led the choir. You are now giving me chair to clean. God didn't send me that I would do that one. No. Give me something that is charismatic. Evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene. Hallelujah. And then you will find out that you can be in that church with them. God trains you. At that season, he will build you. There is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot-free. God is building you. Are you getting my point? When you prove yourself to be faithful, one day, God will come to you and say you have been faithful. You are always cleaning chairs. You are coming early. By two o'clock, you come. Nobody knows you, but you are cleaning the chairs. And as you are cleaning the chairs, you are saying, Oh Lord, I thank you. Those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed. Somebody may look at you and say, Sister, if it's husband you want, come for a miracle service. You know that's how people talk. Once they see commitment in the house of God, they say the way this sister is walking, I'm sure there's one brother that is eyeing her. Must it be so? Or when a brother is doing something, he says he's looking for a pastor. The way this guy is doing, his pastor is looking for. commit yourself to be faithful I've shared my testimony was it in 94 or so 94 95 hallelujah there used to be a man a church that started called power praise chapel the name of the man I don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there Emmanuel Amechi Ani I'll never forget his name they started the church in a hotel not too far from our house and they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard he was part of those who brought somebody so when the church started they said i should come and play keyboard when i came to the church no choir no nothing i would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church i've said it again they never gave me anything no thank you after service the only thing they gave me once was Fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching. One Fanta, bottle Fanta and one cassette. And I accepted it with gratitude. In fact, it was 
my father started getting concerned because i will go to our local church i will come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but god is my witness i never had cause to complain once listen if you are working in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking you are sowing a seed you will reap it for sure hallelujah there are people who will never walk in a place faithfully their job is to observe what is wrong why is this lady always looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business why are you taking it personal what is your own problem she be you came to bless god too have, be, have you been noticing what happens is you are not the only one who have been noticing this thing rather than getting blessed listen listen rather than getting blessed you are just sitting down that's how they keep doing everywhere and you will see god lifting them higher and you will remain there and you keep getting angry because every time god comes there is a report card your faithful service hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying a sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of god and say lord i'm not doing this because i want a husband but i'm committed i'm faithful i will serve you whether they laugh at me or not i will do it and one day she's sweeping that's when god will position one brother him is coming to pray god will say turn left say lord what are you saying say turn left it's time for you to change levels and the sister is just sweeping her thing i'm serving the god of miracles i know yes i know and the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching all of a sudden you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again faithfulness hallelujah come to him i'll never forget she used to be the one leading worship before we started koinonia remember somebody will come for those of you who were there Binga, they will play the guitar and she will come and lead worship i will never forget one day i lashed them can you remember the day i lashed you seriously very seriously they were not serious with their work and i came that night from i came from the throne room with such an anointing and when i came you know it's not my fault jesus entered the temple when he saw what was going on in the temple say it's the zeal of the lord And that day i made sure that i told them before the meeting they must pray for one hour pray in tongues for one hour clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear god has honored her today i'm saying this when you see god lifting people in spite of your criticism keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing bless you are you getting my point now say lord i receive grace to be faithful god gave you an anointing you can't heal any sick body but he gave you grace to preach you have refused to preach you don't do any evangelism see i'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power haba I, I let, let me shine too when i pray let the person fall how can i be frustrating myself i'm talking the guys agree with me i'm quoting a scripture he's responding back lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference that's what you want and god is watching god is saying look at this is the level of grace that i gave you and this is what you are doing with it remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level that's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit you can see a man will come and in one year he has entered some levels and you have been there for three years you get the same job in the same office other people are eyeing the boss shouting there and there this boss likes women the other one is saying lord i thank you for the privilege although they are paying me twenty thousand, i know it cannot do anything i thank you and i'll be faithful the other one is saying we wicked boss you give us twenty thousand. we are here walking you are using a phone of two hundred thousand. 
you are there grumbling and God is watching you hallelujah do you know God watches your works as you serve as you are faithful God gave you a little level when I started out I didn't start as anointed as this it would have been witchcraft if I started like this <laughs> line upon line faithfulness I remember when we were very few those who were around one day we went for evangelism in Jamaa hospital we went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of Christ you are not ready to start small some of you the way you start is true that God has called you in the ministry and you you've seen the stadium you've seen yourself parking wheelchairs and you will never start small you want to start from the stadium one foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to the Spirit of God led them to hold one crusade what's the name of that place where they play golf on your way to huh? polo field I said polo field as if I don't know God you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said God gave us an instruction he said I saw it the other the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying I said calm down polo field God gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of god that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given god will never let me tell you take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position it does not work like that hallelujah it doesn't work like that say i receive grace to be faithful say it i receive grace to be faithful there are many of you i'm telling you you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful you've not been faithful with the anointing god gave you you started business god gave you fifty thousand you are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the fifty thousand you bought clothes you bought phone you are shining and you say i'm a kingdom financier god said no way you can sing songs about million you can draw dollars on your pillow you will never be a kingdom millionaire but god trusts you with fifty thousand and you say lord out of this that you have given your kingdom your kingdom and god says you did this for me and then god will test you and say lay down that isaac and you say lord it's painful but let it go god will say you qualify step into the next level hallelujah god made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this Ogasa, this your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what i'm saying you are not faithful there are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children you insult every elderly person around you including your parents and now you want a husband you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are god said no way we are rehabilitating the young people in the earth you must change before i trust you Are you, are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? It's a very serious message. Be faithful. Stop eyeing a high position somewhere. Be faithful. Be faithful. Hallelujah. Jesus started with a few disciples. 
and then there were so many people then there was a crowd it didn't just start with a crowd financially God wants you to be a multi-millionaire and you just saw somebody <laughs> one of my friends called me very humorous person and he called me he said Josh in my presence somebody bought a Jaguar a new Jaguar 18 million tear rubber hi I said mm -mm, this is the devil here this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own God gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> especially when you see ladies you say come and push this golf out of here now as if it's not your own this is what society has made us to become and god is watching you yes you have to open the door from outside but give thanks lord i give you thanks it's better than a bicycle i glorify you i'm not ashamed of it and you get up in the morning you are cleaning it when the tire is as if it's your child that is sick you go and fix it god is saying you have this guy is faithful whenever there is anything in the house of god you say well don't laugh at my golf it's available if you cannot carry people you can carry sound can you use it and god says look at what this guy is doing all of a sudden somebody will walk somewhere and say the lord led me aha to bless you with another car and he said lord it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it god gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking you say keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes god gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving god is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful i receive grace to be faithful that's what i i tell god all the time this work this little work that god has given i i i take it that's why i take my job seriously every time you see me I, i'm in an attitude of seriousness not because there is any human being coming to supervise me i put a sense of urgency time to pray when i'm praying for you nobody disturbs me i shut up the place and i'm praying i say lord you have committed these people and it's my job to pray bless them even those who are not tightening let the tight of the house cover for them while they listen to the message you have not tightened for one year and the heavens are still opening over you let me tell you that these these prayers that we are praying a day will come god will shift you out alone and then you say so this is how the heavens have been faithfulness god gave you the opportunity to play keyboard you don't rehearse you are not serious you are not improving yourself you are there angry with anybody who can see there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness we never appreciate what gives what god gives us we always want more and we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful intimidated by people and we oh god i want this i want this and many of us get into all kinds of things that's what has made many men of god to get into witchcraft the truth is the honor they want to get is going to come how many of you know that all of us here will be blessed we are going to be blessed the millions will come a day will come the things you admire now see i used to think i like food is a lie i don't like food lack everybody say lack there is a there is a way luck can hit you it will create lust in you anything you see it must finish before you rest that's what was happening to me listen the things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with god if you can be faithful you will walk in it all these cars you see an average young man under pressure people lie everywhere say ask them where are they walking say I'm, I'm walking with one uh, 
uh, construction what is the name it is a construction company i shot in abuja and uh, zaria so what are you doing now i came to solicit for another job is it true it's a lie what is pursuing you impatience and lack of faithfulness whereas you are working in a cafe that's a construction company you are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it whereas you would have been faithful god has blessed me with a job don't say i'm managing you are not managing you are creating a report card that will bless you hallelujah i'm in a cafe now how much do you earn i earn five thousand say you what kind of why are you falling your hand like this no problem say if it's five thousand let me give you your salary for this month and people intimidate you no problem he should carry his money and keep showing everything you just be faithful sister till now you cannot afford a withdrawal of one five no problem no problem i can plant i'm using my natural hair but i love god and i'm faithful i won't follow any man because of money my god will give it to me one of the miracles god did in my life is that i never this craving this craving for material things that you see somebody and say oh god if you don't take me there no one day i went to buy suit and somebody said this is the fashion in town i said i don't know who are the day i will buy what i want don't put any pressure on me who are the day what fashion where i buy what is good i buy what i like i pay for it if i cannot pay for it i go and wait patiently many of us there are shops you cannot pass right now you have eaten almost one quarter of everything there your money is not enough to buy it but you must buy it every time you pass i want black currants how much 600 how much do you have 59 just give me because we cannot be faithful at this level everybody said receive grace to be faithful refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys God was just watching them when it was time for for people to be blessed Eliab came out broad chested God said no way these are not the kind of people I'm not looking for warriors on the throne I'm looking for faithful servants you are in the worship team they never gave you a song to back up but that I mean to to lead but when you stand here huh and you are faithful you are singing from the depths of your heart you don't just grumble and say this coin on yourself the way they do their things just a few people who are shining once you hear people complaining like that the truth is is they want themselves to be in that position they will use a third party statement they say why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front once you hear people talk like that they are not lawyers they are not advocating for anybody they are speaking for themselves it's not like i'm speaking about myself or it's not me who asked you say i receive grace to be faithful god wants to increase us financially but what have you done with the finances that god has given you you keep wasting money around throwing money everywhere doing things that do not glorify god and then you stand and believe that god is going to carry one billion or ten million or hundred million and give to you and then you see god bless someone else and you are like ah god i 
receive grace to be faithful lord i thank you if it is to sweep the psalmist said i i rather be a doorkeeper a doorkeeper god is speaking to someone tonight i want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing i gave you you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it hallelujah there are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of god not because they are not tithing but they are not faithful they are not faithful at all the members raise offering the men of god misuse the money they do anything they want to do with it the man of god is celebrating a birthday party and they they waste so much amount and the ministry is just starting they don't have that kind of money you see that and we put pressure we men of god put pressure on people make me the biggest cake thirty thousand. make me this and this is the money of the house of god you're using it and wasting it and god says no way you can't rise beyond this level but god commits resources to a house and he's seen the way the the finances of the lord's house are being used he's seen the faithfulness is seen accountability god says you are ready to move higher who is god speaking to tonight you've been unfaithful god gave you one room you never cleaned it for once everywhere in the room is leaking including under the house you have never said let me call somebody to smell he says see my property this pq is in my property and you want god to honor you you want god to bless you hallelujah your neighbor always picks you and brings you for koinonia you've never said let me contribute small foil two thousand naira you had the car making all kinds of noise you cannot be faithful god will never never it doesn't work that way who is god speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say lord i repent i've not been faithful you want to rise higher uh -uh. You watch television and you see great people like David Oyedeko and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming saying let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now see what you are thinking say ah a man with this crowd the money you carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship and you see four people four committed people didn't i tell you to bring five five people why have stand up why have you not brought five five people you must bring five five people have you been faithful the the five people are not learning anything for one year they cannot tell you one kingdom principle you've not made warriors out of them they don't pray they don't fast they don't grow they are not knowing the lord they lack intelligence and god is saying this is the same thing you will do if i give you 100 people there are many men of god who want crowd they don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and i know god will hear my prayer god saw my heart till today till tomorrow god knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say joshua selman is a great man people say all kinds of things send all kinds of text messages and i thank god 
but God knows for the rest of my life I remain a servant serving the house of God forget about all of this little honor that comes this is if you want it the welfare the welfare can give you when you see all the protocols standing following me ah when koinonia started i used to climb bike machine during miracle service there will be crowd inside and outside you just see me coming on machine shape blah, 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 blah. bless your people oh god change their story change their life and it was never an embarrassment it was the protocol department that decided they said kai please honor to whom honor is due this is over tomorrow now somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that god has blessed me with you will now be angry why are you angry i climb bike i enter taxi some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go you know let them not know that i didn't come with my car and you start explaining to everybody my car was faulty who asked you enter the bus and go home enter the bus and go home everybody knows you are still rising there is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there we are all young people rising it's just that some are faster than others what's the embarrassment about somebody comes to your room and it's only gary you have you are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself bring it out and say this is what i have god is faithful the day you buy a recharge card lord i thank you i could afford a recharge card the day you buy a fridge see don't be embarrassed let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of god great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou has been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, you must sing it from your heart. Some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady you don't want to fall your hand that is foolishness of the highest order the person who played the fatherly role of jesus was a carpenter are you getting my point get this childishness out of your life there are some of you here the work that you do you wash clothes for people it's better than prostitution it's better than stealing learn dignity in labor be faithful there you're working and they're giving you 200 naira it's small but the 200 naira is with dignity there are many of you god gave you an idea you and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed you laughed at god like sarah he said god if you don't if you cannot bless me i can wait there are some of us here god told you i will take you far but start selling used clothes you said ha ah, god use clothes i have never worn a um these clothes that the one uh, what they call it hallelujah i only wear designers why will I now begin to sell used clothes? Oh Lord, you are falling my hands. And God will say, you never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom. Some of you, are, you are not in any unit, not in your church, not in Koinonia. You don't serve, you don't do anything. Your job, and you've been coming here for a long time. Your job is to sit down, watch others, and complain about what is not done. Do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah
someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would liaise with decoration please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of god nobody needs to know you see take what i'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show god that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of god faithfulness god gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of god you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of god and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of god i tell you papa adeboye till today he travels around the world what's that thing that they play tambourine right he carries his tambourine among the the world's hundred most influential people it has not changed him he takes his tambourine whenever he goes to a place no matter who you are he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here i choose to be faithful i will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level that's why you can listen to a man it's not like he has so much rema or he has so much but he will just say may god increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness and some people will come on on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody this is the place of the anointing you will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness this morning i was just worshiping and i said lord will you bless your people worship was just playing early in the morning and i was crying tears were coming out i said lord there are people coming tonight with burdens there are people coming trusting god a lady came in from joss i'm sure she's around this lady took a step of faith nobody no place to stay she just came in she said i'm tired of what is happening in my life how could i come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise that's why we pray that's why i take this work that god has given because i know that before i was born god has been blessing people and if i'm not serious he will get me out of the stage and you see let me tell you dr paul and Encher said it is god who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot when the pot thinks i'm the only one god will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water never find yourself thinking god cannot do without you that is a big deception oh god can do without joshua selman god forbid if i die today ah yes you will cry for one week you say why did he die you go and listen to all my messages that i say i wouldn't die say oh, he has died after one week case closed you will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and by the time you finish the fight something <laughs> ah thank you for this deliverance oh lord i have no business in all of this nonsense my desire is to serve you my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised i tell you that's that's my desire that you be praised and i will be faithful in doing this my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised. That you be praised. You want the anointing, be faithful. You want greater levels, be faithful where you are right now. Whatever department you are working, be faithful. Stop complaining. Stop finding faults. Contribute your quota. And God who sees what you are doing. God gave us a word that he's lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days God is going to be moving across this congregation checking the report cards of men 
let me see your prayer life did you pray for the house where nobody saw you were you worshiping in spirit and in truth hallelujah i told him lord whatever will change my faithfulness in service whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is joshua selman and all the great works he has done oh may it be far from me if there is any prayer you will pray for me don't pray that god should give me money don't, don't pray all those things they will come naturally pray and say lord give him focus never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall ministry you want this you want branches oh 26 branches the man of god now has a television ah ah my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised is that you be praised god is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace but you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that god can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light men will just keep seeing you rising because god will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes i worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get into get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of god pack whoever and whatever you have i love i love i love your presence i love i love I love your truth. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your truth. If only headache is being healed now, be faithful. The day God gives you an opportunity, to pray for someone's head pray for the head don't go and try and just get up god didn't lead you you go and tell somebody in the name of jesus you are seeing the person no legs you say legs grow you disgrace yourself and scatter what god has been trying to do god is trying to announce you slowly you now went and cancelled it because of pride or impatience right two dangers or two enemies of faithfulness very quickly and i'll round up number one is pride pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in pride obadiah 1 verse 3 i saw a scripture that blew me i'll round up right now obadiah 1 verse 3 is god challenging someone tonight obadiah 1 verse 3 everybody read 
the pride of thy heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground your pride has deceived you so that when god has given you grace for saria pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry pride stops men from being faithful there are many churches in all kinds of death now going to television ministry that they have no business going to god has not anointed them to that level yet see if god does not send you you can still move but the question is life will ask you who is sending you many of us pride pride the humility to remain at the level that you are in where are you walking ah uh, i shuttle between zaria abuja and just what's wrong with saying god is helping me i've started and i'm in zaria i'm doing something god is faithful don't say i'm managing don't use that language what you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else we are managing with all these people while i'm working on another white collar job it is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level so you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing how much are they paying me in this primary school i'm teaching primary one to primary six you are teaching them math you are not faithful like david in the wilderness if you are faithful one day god can give you your own business empire and you sit down and say i once was a school teacher hallelujah a young man met me one time i looked at him i said how are you sir he said fine the way he was saying fine as he was going to push me he was going to introduce himself i'm so so person i deal with oil and gas specifically offshore you know i have the company and i'm doing this and that and that and the xyz said i should meet you for xyz and all kinds of stories and then i was just looking at him and after he made all those noise you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers you are still blessed if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon i was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed war suit pencil tie oil and gas say i receive grace to be faithful at the level that god has has brought me receive grace oh god jordan please stand up come i know when oh god listen let me tell you something i'm sorry if i pry a bit into your private life how many of you know life way for many years jordan walked with them and served faithfully many years while he was learning faithfully god was looking he never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore are you getting my point but he was faithful i will never forget when god blessed him his his shop was so small it was like a console room a few books here and there but god is lifting him the last time i spoke with him he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country this is what faithfulness can bring there are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance listen say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful with what god has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful the clothes you cannot afford now be patient are you hearing what i'm saying the hair you cannot buy now be patient 
brothers the shoe you cannot buy now the dress you cannot buy now be patient that's the second reason why people the second enemy of faithfulness impatience I always preach and I say impatience has cheated many people many of our parents are in debt of billions of naira today because they tried to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million it would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place i must go to gra i must go to my tama i must build in lekki whereas god gave you wisdom one small place outside the town six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting you've carried many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents pride made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take sold the car sold the house sold the property sold everything because of impatience everybody say i receive grace to be patient say it i receive grace to be patient especially those of you in business say i receive grace to be patient there's no hurry be patient a prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed be patient be patient do you know what patience can do in your life the bible says follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny Hinn. i want to invite paul and i want to invite papa you god is leading you and say invite one brother in your fellowship that god is helping say, ah, which kind of brother i want the one that the, the posters very funny things people do there are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of god that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them they just want a name i brought abc i brought xyz now you go and bring a man from london matthew ashimolo in your small church of 100 people and now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping say i receive grace to be patient rise gradually i believe in faith i am a man of faith but faith is not foolishness are you getting me you rise from faith to faith you rise from stage to stage there are some of us right now you are in level one some you are in level two some god has blessed you are in level five be patient in the ark of noah the cheetah the fastest animal entered there the snail also got there it's a matter of time wherever god has not taken me i don't want any man to take me there are times i have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because i know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come and although there is room to go by the time you go you will die that's why a man of god can leave one geography go to another place and start failing and you are wondering is this not the anointed man you used to know hallelujah i will go i will go anywhere you lead me i will go rise up on your feet two prayer points and we're out of this place i don't just want to sound what god is saying just like i'm just making noise hallelujah all those who are worshiping with us for the first time 
I want you to come out. I want to lay my hands on you. The Lord is leading me to do this. All those worshiping with us for the first time, I want you to just come out and stand here. I want to lay my hands and prophesy upon your life. Please, very quickly, we're out of time. Everyone, if this is your first time of coming, just come and line up here. Hallelujah. I want to lay my hands and prophesy the blessing of the Lord upon you. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's got a fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he will give up on you. Say, say, oh. Hallelujah. I want to thank all of you for coming. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. We honor you. We celebrate you. Now listen. When I lay my hands on you, as soon as I lay my hands on you, I just want you to go out. There is a committee that will meet with you. Hallelujah. They will meet with you and just greet you warmly. Ideally, I'm just supposed to call you, pray, and just bless you. But the Lord is leading me to lay my hands on you. Hallelujah. I like you to be praying. And as I lay my hands on you, just a touch. I want you to believe God. Whatever it is that you came here trusting God for. I want you to believe. As I lay my hands on you, for many of you, doors will be opened supernaturally. I want you to desire it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone in the congregation, stretch your hands. I will be very fast. Very fast. Just a touch. When I lay my hands on you, just follow the other people outside. Thank you, Father. Bless them, oh God. Bless them. I anoint you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I, I anoint you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you in the name of Jesus. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you. Receive the anointing. Receive breakthrough in every area of your life in the name of the lord jesus christ receive breakthrough let the hand of god be strong upon you may the grace of god be at work in your life in the name of the lord jesus christ i rebuke every spirit every power of darkness that wants to destroy your life in the name of the lord jesus christ be free from any assault of darkness in the name of the lord jesus christ I lay my hands upon you and I take authority over everything that is not of God in your life. Return with dramatic testimonies by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever is not working in your life, I command it to work now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the heavens are open towards you. The heavens are open over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the hand of the mighty God, the heavens are open towards you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, enjoy unlimited grace enjoy open doors by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost in the mighty name of jesus may the hand of god come strong upon your life may he anoint you mightily in the name of jesus may the grace of god speak in your life rise from one level of grace to another in the name of jesus be blessed you are blessed by the power of the almighty in the name of the lord jesus christ two prayer points Prayer point number one. Oh God, take away pride and impatience from my life. Lift your voice and pray. Take away pride. Pride. Pride and impatience. Please pray it. Lord, take away pride. Pride that stops me from being faithful at the level you have placed me. I take away that pride by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray. Koinonia, pray. I receive grace to stay at the level God has placed me. I receive grace to be faithful. I receive grace to be faithful. Faithful to God. Faithful to man. Faithful in the house of God. Pray. I receive humility in the name of Jesus. I refuse a fake life. I remain faithful and God will honor me and bring
bring me to a place of prominence it won't be long because my faithfulness is my report card that will qualify me to experience greater levels of grace now pray against impatience i receive patience in my life patience to move gradually patience to move one step at a time i'm not in a hurry i'm not in a hurry to be rich i'm not in a hurry to be influential i take my time i go through the school of the spirit i remain properly trained properly trained to be used by god i am well equipped i move from one level to the other hallelujah hallelujah this prayer point is for those of us who have been faithful at the current level if you truly know under god that you have been faithful doing what you are doing in your business in your academics in your marriage in your life in the house of god towards god don't try to pray for eight hours every day start with 30 minutes or one hour be faithful don't bring all those religious expectations that make you feel you are getting spiritual you pray eight hours today the next time you pray again is after four months when you have one terrible nightmare you are cheating yourself you if you pray 15 minutes in tongues every day faithfully for three months you will grow better than somebody who prays 10 hours today never to visit the throne room again it's about consistency and faithfulness then grace is poured upon you and you can now move higher don't try to read 100 chapters of the bible for now you buy devotionals buy a devotional and use you do not yet have the level of spiritual intelligence for some of you where you can navigate the world on your own be humble use the devotional let it help you when you become grown in the world you can now begin to explore you are not using the devotional and you are not praying hallelujah for those of you who have been faithful i like you to pray and say lord i connect to the anointing for the next level lift your voice and pray if you truly know that you have been faithful lift your voice and pray i receive grace oh god according to your word higher dimensions of prosperity higher dimensions of the anointing higher dimensions of influence pray for yourself hallelujah hallelujah before i make the altar call let me advise you if you are not committed anywhere in the house of god whether in your church or in koinonia here or in your fellowships or you are cheating yourself there are certain levels of service or certain levels of lifting that only service can bring you can enter your marital destiny cheaply through service in the house of god you can enter certain levels of the anointing cheaply you can enter a level of financial prowess sometimes i teach the leaders most times i teach the leaders on finances and these are things that they receive free because they are faithful working in the house of god during the retreat the workers retreat we have the opportunity to lay hands on all the workers there are benefits and spiritual privileges you will never compare yourself with someone who is faithfully serving in the house of god and for those of you who are serving either in koinonia or in your churches if you don't desire to serve leave don't be in a place a department or a unit in your church you are grumbling about everybody you are gossiping about everybody you are fighting about everybody leave leave never find yourself doing that don't find yourself opening your mouth gossiping and castigating 
your pastor or the man of God that God has placed over you you, you are bringing a curse upon yourself there is a there is the all-seeing eye of the Almighty God and whoever is not faithful with what God has given him God himself will judge your job is to be faithful the Bible says it is required of a steward that he be found faithful hallelujah praise the Lord those of us who are giving our lives to Christ there are people here who are saying man of God I want to rededicate my life to Jesus or I've never given my life to Christ and this is the beginning of the faithfulness I preached a message in just last week called the matrimony of love if you can get that message it will bless you four hours it's a powerful message teaching on how marriage describes our relationship between God and how that God desires the church to be like a faithful bride hallelujah when if you lay your hands on it get it it will bless you but right now there are people inside and outside the Lord Jesus is speaking to you right now and he's telling you it's time please everybody rise we're rounding up we want to give those people an opportunity you've never given your heart to the Lord or you have given your heart to the Lord but you found out that you've not been faithful you've not been faithful you've been walking in ways that are not of God and you're saying Lord I'm sorry I want to make my ways right I invite you right now please come out please celebrate them as they come don't wait for anybody the Lord is speaking to you that you need to make your ways right with God hallelujah inside or outside please clear the way for them if there are people like that please make sure you don't sit back it is always our duty God bless you God bless you thank you it's always our duty to make sure that we make altar calls God bless you if you are still staying in the crowd God is calling you if you hear the voice of God tonight leave your seat and come out and say Lord I want to be faithful I'm ready to commit my life I'm ready to commit my ways I'm ready to start afresh with Jesus Christ hallelujah keep coming hallelujah now those of you in front very quickly we're out of time I celebrate you and I thank you for the courage lift your right hand as I leave there's one of you here you smoke you smoke all kinds of things God is warning you the power of those that addiction will leave you once and for all hallelujah lift your right hand please from the depths of your heart you are not just repeating after me you are talking to the Lord say Lord Jesus I come before you unable to help myself I ask you tonight show me your mercy show me your grace help me save me cleanse me from all unrighteousness tonight I declare that I'm for Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit and I make up my mind by the grace of God to live for Jesus from today and for the rest of my life Satan I have no business with you I am for Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out bless them preserve them by the power of your spirit may they enjoy sweet fellowship with the Holy Spirit I break habits I break addictions I cast out devils and every wicked spirit that is responsible for jeopardizing your Christian experience and I pray that your 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 altar call will be genuine and you will last may you rise from glory to glory in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you for making this decision please rise. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like, 
this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye